Assalamu alaikum grade 6 hopefully you're fine and safe and you're doing well so today we are going to continue reading our chapter number 2 we are going to study about the ear ears are the sense organs of hearing just like your eyes they help you to see and watch different objects ears are the sense organs that help you to hear and listen to different things they help you to hear we have two ears one on each side of the head you all know you have two ears one is present on the left side and the other one is present on the right side what do they do this helps us to tell where a sound is coming from so you have one on the right and one on the left and they help you to tell they tell you where a sound is coming from they help you to hear and help you to uh, help they help in telling you where the sound is coming from sounds are vibrations in the air so what is sound this is very important sounds are vibrations in the air so sound are they are the vibrations that are present in the air our ears change these vibrations into nerve impulses which travel to the brain where they are interpreted as sound so these vibrations that are present inside the air ears change these vibrations into nerve impulses and then these nerve impulses travel towards the brain and they tell you what kind of sound this is and where it is coming from so brain helps you to tell where the sound is coming from and what kind of sound it is how does it tell you with the help of the nerve impulses which is sent to which are sent to the brain by the ear the ear is divided into three parts so now we will study about the different parts of the ear first of all we have outer ear middle ear and inner ear outer ear ear flap what are the parts of the outer ear ear flap ear canal and ear drum now look at this diagram the outer ear includes your ear flap which is uh, the skin uh, uh, of your ear which you can touch and see then you have ear canal which is this part the inner part of your ear you can somehow see this part and then you have ear drum which is a uh, really inner part okay so this is the part of the outer ear you can see ear flap and somehow you can see ear canal but you cannot really see ear drum secondly we have middle ear middle ear contains three small bones now look at the diagram this pinkish color is the middle ear okay this includes three small bones what are those three small bones hammer anvil and stirrup are those three small bones this is very important the three small bones the three small and very important bones present inside your ear are uh, hammer anvil and stirrup okay so you can see the location of these three bones this are these three bones are the part of the middle ear and then we have inner ear cochlea and auditory nerve are the parts of the inner ear this is the innermost part of your ear which you cannot see at all it is uh, the parts that are present uh, in this part are uh, cochlea and auditory nerve you can see uh, there are many nerves present in the uh, this part and the cochlea you can see from this diagram this is the inner part okay inner ear now we will study how do ears work we read about the three different parts outer middle and inner ear now we will see how do ear works how do ears help us to interpret different sounds and then how does it tell help us to hear how do ears work the ear flap collects vibrations in the air and sends them down a short canal to the eardrum. So first of all what happens is the process starts from the ear flap from the outer ear. The ear flap what does it do? Uh, as we studied that sounds are vibrations in the air. So those vibrations which are the sounds it will the ear flap will collect those vibrations of the sound and then it will send those vibrations towards this canal and then towards the eardrum. Okay. The eardrum vibrates in time with the vibrations in the air and passes these vibrations to the hammer anvil and stirrup. So eardrum will further pass these vibrations towards the three bones that are present in the middle ear, hammer, anvil and stirrup. So first of all ear flap will collect the vibrations, canal, eardrum and then hammer, anvil and stirrup which is the middle ear. The hammer, anvil and stirrup now what will they do? They are small bones which amplify the sounds of the eardrum increasing their force more than 20 times. 
so what will hammer and will instead of do they will amplify the sounds they will make the they will uh, amplify the vibrations they will make the vibrations much more stronger so that we will our brain will be able to detect the sound so what will it do the hammer and will instead of will increase their force more than 20 times okay it will amplify the vibrations it will help us help the brain to detect those vibrations then we have that these vibrations are detected by nerve cells in the walls of cochlea so uh, outer ear outer ears function is complete middle ears function is complete now we have inner ears function cochlea what will the cochlea do the cochlea will detect those sound the, these vibrations will be detected by the nerve cells that are present in the walls of cochlea so here in the cochlea it has the cochlea has nerve cells that are present inside the walls of its walls so those uh, sounds so those nerve cells will be the vibrations will be detected by those nerve cells signals are passed from these nerve cells to the brain so now the next step is that different signals will be passed from these nerve cells uh, that are present in the walls of the cochlea will uh, pass out signals towards the brain the brain interprets these signals as the sound that you hear so the brain will interpret the sound for example if you hear the sound of a horn so your brain will interpret the sound where it is coming from and what kind of sound it is it is the, the sound of a horn so your brain will interpret those signals and uh, it will tell you what kind of sound you are hearing so this was the whole process of um, how your ears work okay then we have the semicircular circular canals are organs of balance so there are some semicircular canals you can see from the diagram right here semicircular canals these canals what do they do they help you to balance they help you in balancing the canals lie at right angles to each other and have nerve cells in their walls so canals they are basically at right angles they have 90 they lie at 90 degrees angles to each other and what do they have just like cochlea cochlea had nerve cells in its walls so uh, semicircular canals they also have nerve cells in their walls liquid in the canals move when you move so the semicircular canals have liquid inside of them okay so uh, whenever you move these liquid this liquid also moves this moving liquid is detected by the nerve cells which send messages to the brain so uh, what what is the function of this moving liquid this moving liquid will be detected by the nerve cells that are present inside the walls and it will send message to the brain when you go off balance your brain tells your muscle to keep you upright so whenever you go off balance your brain gives you a message to uh, so that your body can be in the right position and it can keep you upright so uh, let's do did you know many animals are able to point their ears flaps in different directions so allah Taala has given this ability to many animals that they can point their ears towards different directions just like you can uh, see see the example from a cat or a dog uh, they turn their um, ears wherever the sound is coming from this helps them to locate the source of the sound better <clears throat> so this basically helps them to detect the sound uh, where it is coming from okay then uh, test yourself we have four questions question number one is why do we have two ears uh, this is given in the first paragraph we have two ears one on each side this help us to tell where a sound is coming from okay uh, question number two how do uh, what do ear flaps do you can uh, tell the function of the ear flaps from these two these these two lines the ear flap it will collect the vibrations that are present in the air and it will send it to the short canal and then toward, towards the ear canal and then towards the eardrum <coughs> question number three describe how vibrations in the eardrum are interpreted as, uh, as sound you have to find this answer from this uh, paragraph right here Ex explain how you keep your balance you have to uh, answer this question from uh, this uh, you have to write about the semicircular canals and their function and how they help you in balancing okay you have to write down the answer 
so uh, we have completed we did the first chapter uh, science skills and we did uh, our uh, chapter number two till page number 26 you guys have to read this chapter thoroughly and you uh, have to do the question answers on a loose sheet all the questions that i told you you are obliged to do them on a loose sheet um, also i gave you a project you have to draw a very neat diagram <clears throat> that helps you uh, to differentiate between an animal cell and a plant cell uh, you can take uh, a, you you are not uh, it is not necessary to draw this diagram you can uh, take it uh, take uh, any help from the internet but you have to make a very neat and clean diagram and you have to label it okay so i hope you all stay at home and you hope you all uh, stay safe uh, i hope we will be out of this pandemic situation soon inshallah and we will meet in school take care of yourself and stay healthy stay safe thank you allah